What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is another episode on my wedding series. We are venue searching today. So I'm going to take you guys along with me while we look at some of these venues. We are in Plettenberg Bay in South Africa and there are quite a few places here that are high up on our list and we really want to try and make Plett work. So we're hoping that we find the venue, but I can't guarantee, obviously, we haven't seen them, so I'm going to take you guys along with us today, so stay tuned if you want to see our venue search. Cool, so this is our first venue. They've got a beautiful roof which you can drape and fairy lights across. Chairs can all be interchanged. This is obviously the reception hall where all of the tables go. So the big main table, I think, is supposed to go here and then all the rest of them kind of chevron out. And then they've got these big lights, which is where they put the band. And there's like an outdoor area here as well. next venue. Okay, so we went and saw the two venues that we looked at today. We have two more tomorrow, but I figured we'd go ahead and kind of... What did you think, Chicken? I thought those were great venues. Is that um, all you have to say? It's, no, I mean, just we've only started, so who knows. There's um, The two places we went to are completely different to each other, so it'll all come down to what exactly we are able to get and what matches your goals, ambitions and dreams which could be nearly impossible to reach so we'll see. Good morning guys! This is day two in Plett and we have two more appointments today to see two more venues. So last night we just talked over the venues that we looked at yesterday and decided about the pros and the cons and um, pricing and all those fun little things so today is a fresh new day and we've got two new venues we've got one at 10 o'clock which is in like 25 minutes and then we have another one excuse the hottie dawes um then we have another one um right after that so we will then have the late afternoon free to do some stuff so we're looking at kind of rehearsal dinner venues as well so um, hopefully we find something that we really love at the end of everything and obviously I'm going to take you guys with Banded, we put carpets out um, in, in terms of um, in terms of that what is included um, that you guys have so you say chairs or benches you guys include have the chairs and everything. Okay. so I'm not um, unfortunately I don't know raised price hey guys so we're traveling to the second place and it's really exciting I'm excited Caroline's excited she's about to eat we're gonna turn this frown upside down. <laughs> so we just finished viewing our first appointment today for the wedding venues, and we're now on our way to our second place, which is also gonna be really cool. We've come to this one place for a really long time, so we just, there's so many places in Plett that we love, so it's gonna be really difficult in the end for us to decide. I think, um, I really liked the one that we just went to now though and also we're looking at um, accommodation as well for international guests so we're looking at rehearsal dinner spaces we're looking at wedding venue spaces we're looking at accommodation spaces <laughs> and in between all of that Clive's having phone conversations with the house renovation people so things are crazy Okay, 
Well, the one venue is having a farmer's market at the moment. But I could tell, couldn't you tell right away that that wasn't right? Right away. Right away. Basically, it just seems so much smaller and less grand. And I don't really think, I think they said it maxed out at 150 anyway, so. Yeah. Too tight. lights and like those little cocktail tables out here overlooking the um, polo field. There's nice furniture inside. There's when it's set up, but you can get the ones that aren't white <clears throat> on the top. I just think this is a smarter bar, and this would be there. All this wedding venue searching is making us hungry, so we've stopped at one of our favorite places for lunch. Do you want something to drink for the baby? Yes, please. Yes, please. Get a bottle of the, um, which one is? Do you want dry, very dry? Yeah. Dry. Okay. Can we get the the, uh, the Sauvignon Blanc? Holy, perfect. Yes. And a, a bottle of still water as well, please. Thank you. We've been going non-stop this weekend. We've been doing. Um, it doesn't sound like a lot, but two appointments per day. But because we are also looking at accommodations for everyone as well, you're looking at the venue, walking through the venue, figuring out the layout, how you're going to put it all out, everything, and then also. Um, in terms of organizing for all the USA guests. So we're quite tired, so we've just gone to lunch now. And we're on our way back home now. Another venue. <laughs> what? Another venue. Oh, we're so tired, but we just figured we might as well just do the last one today. Get it over with. How pretty are these little flowers and stuff? I don't know if you can see. There they are. Just get it done with. That way tomorrow we can just relax and have like one full day to like think about everything. What's up guys? It's a new day. We are just crushing this wedding planning stuff. I think we're really hammering out a lot of the big details that we needed to do while we were here in Plet. We've spoken to florists, we've gotten quotes for food, we're organizing tables and all the cutlery, crockery, all the rest, you name it, fairy lights, the big venue stuff, our wedding coordinator, you name it. So I think it was a really successful long weekend here in Plet. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I just really thought that this would be such a cool thing to do to make everyone feel really included. And it's just a really cool part to document the journey because we are having so much fun doing this. And I just want you guys to also feel included. Let us know down below what your favorite venue is and your guess of which venue we are going to choose. Um, again, thanks again so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I make new videos every week on beauty, lifestyle, travel, fashion, and now wedding planning. So um, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.